Hey y'all, how's it going? Namaste. So um, today during my meditation, uh, what was really coming through quite strong was our ability to choose um, our own light, our ability to choose our own love and our own passion and our own dreams. Because the truth in the nature of this reality is that there is nothing outside of us. There's only our own... Um, you could say vibrational frequency, you could say our own state of being, uh, you could say our own makeup, you know, everything that makes us up as individuals is ultimately what's emanating and creating the reality that we're perceiving, the, the, the visions, you know, that which we see outside of us is actually uh, an extension of us. It's part of who we are because in truth there is no separation. There's only one totality of all existence and we are individuated consciousness aspects of that totality. And so the more we own our connection to the totality, the more we can harness and create from a much more loving and light-filled place. And I wanted to talk about it because I wrote a little, um, you know, post today, and it really was this idea that, that we're choosing everything, that we're not unconscious, that we're not disempowered, even though it might feel like that, and especially when we're bridging, so we might be going back and forth between feeling really empowered and then feeling kind of crap about our lives. So when we're going back and forth like that, it's really important to keep coming back to your center, to keep coming back to that place of feeling connected, and feeling connected doesn't necessarily mean that you're always feeling like mega blissed out or that you're always feeling like supercharged, go-getter, empowered. Um, feeling connected just just means that. It just means like you're okay. You're, you're held. You're supported exactly where you are. So if that means you're wanting to feel connected and you're processing some sadness emotion or you're choosing to feel connected while you're processing some fear, or you're choosing to feel connected while you're processing like high levels of ecstasy and bliss. And the connection, how I would describe it, is, is a little bit beyond everything else. So the connection is experienced, I guess, within or even beyond any emotions that we might experience, certainly any reactive emotions with regards to the external reality. We always have an ability to draw our attention within, into ourselves, and then and then work on holding space for transmutation, you could say. So we're holding space within our own energetic, um, our own energy field, uh, to, to kind of look at some of that uncomfortable emotion more clearly, and if possible for us, which always is, to to just kind of let it go, to look at it and be like, I don't need that anymore, I don't need that anymore. And it's great talking about this stuff, but it's important to reiterate that this is a diligent practice, that this isn't, um, I've been vlogging now for coming up to, I guess, two years, and the amount of changes I've seen even in those two years, and I was practicing this stuff then. In fact, you know, I'm pretty sure my mom gave me a Louise Hay book when I was like 15 or 14 or something. So I plugged into my awareness quite early on um, about mind over matter, about the importance of positive thinking, about, um, you know, what, what self-love actually means and how to embody it and how to practice it. And And again, after 20 years or 30 years of feeling fat or feeling ugly or feeling you know, shitty about who you are, not feeling worthy of joy, it takes some time to unravel that patterning. You're retraining the mind. Like, we wouldn't, if if we were, you know, 40 pounds overweight, we wouldn't go to the gym and expect to, um, our body to change within seconds. Although, I do think that's possible. Um, no, we'd probably go to a personal trainer and we'd be like, you know, how do I get bigger biceps? How do I trim down my waistline? Like we would, we would follow a certain process to assist us in transforming the physical vessel. And the beauty of this stuff is that when we get more focused in our mind, our mind can transform the vessel quite miraculously. But again, it's like a different way of working with the reality, with what we think is reality. So for me, 
I, I, I choose to no longer attempt to sort of mechanically manipulate my external circumstances because I know that they're all just an extension or a reflection of me. So when there's things, so if I'm wanting to create something, I just go with it and I imagine it and I feel like I'm a vibrational match to it. And like, and all of this right now, right now in this time, February 2016, everything is accelerating. There is a massive amount of high level energy, high level light frequency kind of filtering into this earth plane. And so those of us who are kind of like, ching, switched into it it's really important to like get really focused what are we creating um how do we see that moving can we feel our hearts opening up to higher and higher levels of joy and bliss and excitement and how can we just follow through with that in trust and faith even when all the steps aren't mapped out even when if you're someone like me who gets a little bit impatient it's done happening yesterday you know like the fact that i'll just have to sit and meditate and trust that all the things that my mind's already projected out in front of me, trust that that grid will start to fill itself in and be patient. And um, yeah, just be patient because amazing beauty and like super duper love vibes and all that kind of stuff is worth waiting for, right? I, I know in A Course in Miracles it says like um, the teacher of God or teachers of God can wait and wait with anxiety. Um, that's trust, you know, like deep deep trusting in in God or in yourself or in the universe, whatever it is, like trust embodies patience, trust embodies love, trust embodies forgiveness, that the really, really deep resonant trust that I am everything there is, that I totally love myself, that I totally support myself, and that from that place of trust and love and support, then I can emanate that. And I emanate that to all that I meet, to all people that come across. And through that emanation, even if somebody doesn't like you, even if somebody's like, yeah, you're annoying me, stop smiling. On some level, you're like, you're, you're showing them new ways. In some level, you're, you're showing them or, or giving them a little ticket saying, you know, you're allowed to be happy. You don't have to be, mm, yeah, life sucks, this world is horrible. We don't have to be like that. We can choose something different. We are powerful creators and it's up to us. I think that's why we've all chosen to be here at this time. It's up to us. We have a choice. We have a choice right here, right now. Whether we want to be happy, whether we want to love ourselves, whether we want to embrace everything that is, which means, you know, throw all the traditional stuff out the door and just be love. Being love for someone might be playing guitar. Being love for another person might be going um, going fishing. Being love for, for somebody might be, might be just giving hugs all day long, you know? Like, it, the form doesn't matter. The form doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. The form doesn't matter. All that matters is our own inner resonance, which is why, again, meditation, mindfulness, all these sort of quote unquote spiritual practices that are coming more and more, more and more into the mainstream is because we're seeking. It's because we have never stopped seeking. Every single one of us as beings, as entities on this planet have constantly been been looking around for ourselves, looking around for for broader and broader aspects that reflect our own divine nature, that reflect our own true expansive uh, self, true expansive connected self with all that is. So I hope that was useful to you today. Uh, I have got a session now and uh, I'm really excited. I got my new MacBook Pro and um, I can really feel the acceleration. I can really feel that things are moving along pretty fast. Um, and, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to setting up my Ulta Love uh, membership tribe or membership academy, uh, Living Oneness. And that's for people who are really dedicated to just being their happiest self, being their most blissful, um, expansive self. And, and really, I'm just here to inspire and permission people to go get it. Permission people to stop waiting and just go live your life. Live your life with an open heart and an open mind and trust and have faith that everything, you mainly, you're going to support yourself, you're going to love yourself, and, and everything is going to be great. Everything's, everything's wonderful. <laughs> have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace out. All to love. All to love All to love